people pay to go into theaters to see the movie stars at work. When people come to Hollywood, they pay to see where the stars live. <laughs> they also want to see where the stars walked. And a lot of them look for a guy named Bob Fry, who shows them where the stars are buried. Follow me exactly, will you? Now, everybody, this bench is what got me started on this whole thing, is I, I came out of Columbia Studios one day, and I, you know in Hollywood, they have these little parks, Long Prairie Park, Plummer yeah. Park, and it was so hot that day, and I said, this guy who was running the parking lot of the street, is there a park around? He said, yeah, two blocks down the street. I said, oh, terrific. So I walked two blocks down the street. Well, it's Hollywood Memorial Park. <laughs> I said, well, the guy's got a sense of humor, so I go in, and it's terrific. I looked up, and here I saw Tyrone Power. And I said, my golly, I thought, well, what, you know, I wonder if there's anybody else around here. The bench itself is really unique. I don't think there's any other monument, not that I've seen for a star, for a famous person in, you know, Los Angeles history. One of my favorite inscriptions is on Casey Stengel's, and uh, it reads, uh, there comes a time in every man's life, and I've had plenty of them. Well, I've been doing this now about 15 years. I don't think it's an invasion of privacy. I feel very strongly about this. These people uh, were public figures to begin with. They made their living from the public. Well, then why wouldn't they enjoy us coming by their tomb or their grave? Why wouldn't they? And to have a good thought about them. I did have one experience happen to me. I was in a mausoleum, and I was racing from Clifton Webb and his mother and the Talmud sisters looking for Jesse Lasky when I rounded this bend and came across this plaque. And there was a lady, and she was dusting and putting some flowers in the urns. And I looked, and she said, do you know who this is? I said, well, of course I know who it is. Are you kidding? So I said, this is, this, this is the wrong way. I said, this is Victor Fleming. She said, well, do you know who Victor Fleming is? I said, of course I know who Victor Fleming is. He directed Gone with the Wind and Great, Great Pictures. She says, well, she said, well, this is my brother. I said, he is? She said, yes. And she was lovely. But you know, there are many people, stars and things like that, who are famous for just one thing. Well, this lady is that kind of person. Her name is Eva Tangway. And don't say it, I know you never heard of her. <laughs> hardly, hardly anybody ever has. But, oh, here she is up here. But anyway, the thing she's famous for is a song called I Don't Care. Now, I'm telling you the truth. I stood here on a Saturday or Sunday, and some these people come through, and they look up and they go, oh, Eva Tango, I don't care, I don't care. And they just <laughs> break into that song all together now. I don't care, I don't care. La da 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 da. OK, this is the halfway mark that I always stop here for lunch. The tour takes about between four and five hours. Now, that, that seems like a long time, but it isn't really. Uh, the time goes by very quickly. So everybody gets a little hungry and thirsty. You gotta remember, we're, we walk a lot on this tour. So we usually find somebody's crypt. Uh, uh, you probably don't believe it, but there's some really nice ones to stop at and, and have a little, little lunch. And I usually bring a little chilled wine. Now, is white or red wine appropriate for the graveside? <laughs> Milk is appropriate <laughs> for the graveside. <laughs> this is it. This is the pièce de résistance of this whole thing. This is Douglas Fairbanks. This, to me, is the greatest, great. The only thing, if you look at it closely, the, the really nice thing about this is, past that crypt, or whatever you want to call it, is Paramount Studios. You don't realize it, but this whole block here is made up of one large cemetery and one large movie studio. OK. I don't have to say anything about this. This is my favorite actor, and uh, it speaks for itself. And because of the privacy of the family, and I'm a great fan of Miss Hepburn's too, so I never, I come here often alone because I enjoy it so much. Yeah. One of my favorite inscriptions, if not my very favorite, is on Earl Carroll's grave, and it probably sums up my thoughts as far as death are concerned. And it reads, in life, we weep at the thought of death. Who knows? In death, we may weep at the thought of life. And that's exactly how I feel about it.